Hey guys, welcome to another Grim Speed install video. My name is Will, and today we're going to be talking about our Subaru Turbo Heat Shield. The tools we're going to need for today are a 10mm wrench, I have a regular one and a ratcheting and adjusting one, 10mm socket, and of course a 3 8 socket wrench. Now to start off, we're going to locate the turbo heat shield sitting over the turbo underneath the top mount. Now to start off, we have to locate the seven bolts connected to the heat shield. There's going to be three back here, two on this side, and two down low at the bottom of the heat shield there. Now it's worth taking note that on this heat shield, we had cut off the bracket to fit over the down pipe there will be two bolts that actually bolt to the downpipe on the back of the heat shield. We're going to remove the one bolt that bolts to the turbo on the back of the heat shield. Now we're going to use a socket for this because the area is open enough that we can easily get one in there to make this job a bit easier. Now we're going to take our wrench for a little easier access to remove the two bolts on the back of the turbo here. Now we're going to locate the two bolts down low on the passenger side of the heat shield. Now these bolts are probably the hardest to remove just because of their location. It is hard to get at them, but with a little bit of time and energy and a lot of patience, you should be able to get these off no problem. This will be the location of the last two bolts on the bracket that we previously removed. Now after wiggling the old heat shield out, it's time to install the new heat shield. Now this is going to take some patience and skill. Be very careful how you install this, and I suggest watching this video a couple of times, especially this section, so that way you can get this install perfect. It only fits in one way, it's just like a puzzle sliding this in here. Make sure that you're not cutting any hoses while you're doing this as well. Now we're going to use the three supplied bolts to install our heat shield. We're going to start by taking one bolt and putting it into one of the back sides. We're going to start with the top one just as it holds the bracket on pretty well. Now we're going to take our second bolt and put it into the other hole on the driver's side of this heat shield. Now this is going to be a hard part again because we got to get this bolt down low. We're going to be putting this on the furthest right hole that we removed a bolt from before. Then we're going to go through and we're going to tighten all of these back up. And there it is installed. Make sure that you do line it all up before you do the final tight on the bolts to make sure that it is not touching any of the turbo or your downpipe. This should have clearance for any downpipe or external wastegate up pipe kit though on the market. Enjoy it. Stay cool.